Next on track, a race we've been keenly looking forward to. It's the women's 100 metres final. From what we have seen in the qualifying rounds, an outstanding sprint race in prospect. The semi-finals were fast. Karen Stewart, the world leader this year at 10.75. Just one woman of a talented field capable of winning, capable of a medal, but there may not be much to choose between the athletes in this event. The Jamaicans, of course, have a very, very strong quartet here. Four athletes from Jamaica, what, two from the Bahamas and two from the USA. It's an all-American lineup from the Caribbean and USA above them. There they are, the four, eight women lined up on this track. Shelly Ann Fraser of Jamaica, the Olympic champion, was fastest in qualifying at 10.79. It's Bailey, Ferguson McKenzie, Fraser, Stewart, Jetta, Campbell Brown, the defending champion, Sturrup and Williams. Indeed, we've got two former champions, Campbell Brown and also Lauren Williams, winner on the last two occasions in these world championships. Aline Bailey of Jamaica goes in lane one. Olympic relay, silver medalist. World Championship finalist at 200 metres. Just one of four Jamaicans in this field. What a hand they have on sprinting. Debbie Ferguson McKenzie, very experienced, but in terrific form this year. Three successive Olympic Games, she'd made both sprint finals, three Commonwealth Games, gold medals back in 2002, and a former world champion at 200 metres. 10.91 is her personal best. Then we have Shelly Ann Fraser, came through last year to take the Olympic title. Best then of 10.78, and she ran 10.79 here in her semi-final. She's the quickest of the lot, coming into form when it matters. She looks almost as relaxed as Usain Bolt in preparation for this race. Plenty of support, of course. And in lane four, we have Karen Stewart who possibly started this year in the finest form of all of the sprinters. And look at that, 10.92 and 10.84 to qualify here. Silver and bronze from the last Olympic Games for Karen Stewart. But there's not much to choose between the top athletes. And uh, Fraser was an impressive semi-final winner from Stewart. So the Jamaicans have plenty to cheer about. But also the Americans because Carmelita Jessa was another very impressive semi-final winner in 10.83. Carmelita Jetta, who was a surprise bronze medalist two years ago, but is now one of the clear favourites. Up against the Jamaican challenge, surrounded by them. Carmelita Jetta in lane five. Because in lane six, the defending champion and the fourth of the Jamaicans we've seen, Veronica Campbell-Brown. Olympic gold medalist and world champion in 2007 Osaka at this distance. She's got a best of 10.85. Chandra Starup, the oldest in the race at 37, but still very fast indeed. Commonwealth champion 11 years ago. Twice a bronze medalist in these championships, 2001 and 2003. And of course also twice a gold medalist in the relay, both at Olympics and at World Championship. Chandra Starup excelling once again, and again under 11 seconds this season. And an athlete who peaks at the big events, no question about that. She was the gold medalist in 2005, the silver medalist in 2007. It's Lauren Williams of the USA. Also an Olympic silver medalist. Jamaica won previous gold medal, three golds, uh, three silvers rather, and two bronze. The USA have six golds, three silvers and three bronze in the history of the World Championships. But Jamaica's winner was Veronica Campbell-Brown two years ago. Last US winner was Lauren Williams. Four, five, four years ago, and they both line up again. There's a head-to-head -head clash here. Stewart and Fraser, certainly two of the favourites. They're the two fastest in the world this year at 10.75 and 79. 
They go in lanes three, Fraser and four, Stewart. But outside them is the third fastest in the world this year, Carmelita Jetta of the USA. Women's 100 meters final. As they settle into their blocks, it's Bailey, Ferguson McKenzie, Fraser, Stewart, Jetta, Campbell Brown, Sturrup, and Williams. Away they go, as ever, Starrock quickly away, so too Shelly Ann Fraser. The Jamaican showing ahead of his own compatriot. Jetta is coming now, but Shelly Ann Fraser is holding on. Shelly Ann Fraser, but Stewart dips the line. Shelly Ann Fraser just gets there first. Stewart is in second place, and Jetta behind her. And the winning time, 10.74. Fastest time in the world this year. A new personal best. The Olympic champion, roast the occasion when it mattered then. She's done so again. Karen Stewart, though, closed. Very closely on her, wasn't much in the end of it, but what another triumph for Jamaica. Wonderful run from Fraser. It was the start that made all the difference. She had half a metre on them in the, in the first 10 metres or so, and from there on in, even though they tried to claw her back, they really did. Karen Stewart came at her at the end. That margin of error was about three or four centimetres, and that's all it took to win the gold medal. A superb, superb performance from Shelley Ann Fraser, the Olympic champion and now the world champion. And you can see how much it means to her. The Jamaicans have totally brought this world championship to life. What a superb double for this young woman. Karen Stewart was the fastest in the world coming into this race. Look at that, 10.73. And Stewart almost caught Fraser but as Steve said a brilliant start from the Olympic champion saw her home and Carmelita Jetta came away with the bronze as she did two years ago it was not to be a Jamaican one two three the American had shown great form coming into this final but once again we see the black yellow green and gold of Jamaica superb race Jetta can be proud of her performance but once again, Jamaican dominance. What a way to round off this night of athletics here in Berlin. Indeed, 10.73, and that makes her the joint third fastest of all time at 100 metres, behind just Florence Griffith Joyner and Marion Jones, and joint third fastest with Christine Otty, ahead of Mer Mer oh, sorry, Christine Aron, ahead of Merlin Otty, and Karen Stewart equaling her best for joint sixth. Let's look again, and as you, Steve pointed out, the crucial advantage that she gained over Karen Stewart, it was almost a metre. Look how far Stewart finishes, but Fraser has enough to hold on. Jetta keeping going quite easily for third place ahead of Campbell Brown and Williams. Ooh, look at that at the end. It was only a matter of centimetres. Karen Stewart really did come hard. Fraser almost, I thought, eased up, but I think she just ran out of steam with about 20 metres to go in her legs. She knew that she got it at the end, even though it was close. Watch again, a great start, superb start. Leg speed, cadence, absolutely great. But here, watch, she starts running out of speed a little bit. She knows it, her head goes back a little bit. Stewart comes that up, but not enough. That margin of error, as I said before, just three centimetres or so at the end. And it's point two officially, 10.73 to 10.75, 10.90 to Jetta. You can see there that the start was all the difference. She knew that Karen Stewart was coming in the closing yards. She knew it was close. And now the realisation that she's added a world title to her Olympic title. Absolutely superb. Well, she's a small woman, but the leg cadence, Peter, of that first 10 or 20 metres, absolutely great. She really did get her legs moving fast, fast enough to get that little bit of a gap, a metre or so, as you said, on the tall stride in Karen Stewart. Karen Stewart just come across the lane there, but I don't think it's going to be a major problem. No, and uh, Karen Stewart actually was second slowest away, a reaction time of 0 0.170, whereas uh, Fraser had uh, 0.146, and one of the quicker ones away. But it's not only, of course, the reaction times, it's getting into the running very quickly. Fraser, as a small athlete, does get up and into a running very fast. But, um, well, we'll interested to see how Stewart gets on the 200 metres because uh, clearly on the form she showed there, she's pretty useful at that event. At the other placings, Veronica Campbell-Brown was fourth, Lauren Williams fifth, Debbie Ferguson-McKenzie sixth, then Sturrup and Bailey. Indeed, 
There is confirmation of the women's 100 metres final. Negligible wind. Shelly Ann Fraser going to joint third fastest ever. 10.73 from Karen Stewart who equalled her personal best. 10.75 and bronze going to Carmelita Jetta.